Hey guys, another video. I haven't done one for so long. It's been a long time. This is completely ad hoc. This is the first take. I'm, I'm not really sure what I'm going to do exactly. I know what I want to cover, I think, maybe. <laughs> but anyway, the, the video is about a um, build chain uh, tool. I have made um, and some loader modules that um, do some nice stuff for me. Okay, and also allow me um, a build a particular the build chain um, allows me to um, do some funky things. So I'm using CA sixty five um, CA sixty five because the the linker is really, really, really nice. Um, it allows you to have separate objects, and um, and um, relocatable objects, and link them and with certain configurations. So the problem I'm trying to solve is. Uh, here, my application um, has got a user interface, and that requires a lot of data, um, in particular for tilde here. Um, we have um, these records structures, um, and there's going to be one of these for each control. So that that's a lot of data that um, I can relocate to higher memory, other banks than where I'm pro the CPU is running um, with D word pointers and so on. But how do I get it there? How do, how do I use it from there? Because um, I need to be able to access. I need to be able to access these things from my code still, even though I'm compiling it with it being remote. I don't, I don't want to have to generate lots of definition files and strange include files and all the things. I, I want, I want the compiler to do work for me. So I, I do that using imports and exports and compiling them as relocatable objects, and then. Um, have these special segments which mark um, the linker to tell the linker to uh, use certain memory placement and file output um, utilization. So um, I can have multiple output files than just the one that you're getting the linker to consider. Um, and I can generate all these data files that I can then uh, accumulate together and um, um, use uh, uh, as a payload with my loader. Um, they'll have all the addresses um, automatically defined and output and linked up together. Fantastic. So, uh, most of the magic is done here, um, where I've defined this segment called UE address, and I've imported a symbol, UE1Start, and I've got declared a D word, UE1Start, and then declared the rest in the segment, UE data, and then in the config file, what we're going to give the linker to tell it how to deal with all these segments and place them in memory and output them for us. Um, we have this symbol that we define as um, somewhere in another bank of memory, then bank zero, where our code's going to be, and then we have uh, the actual memory allocations to say anything that's coming into this into this region 
into this memory needs to be output to this file here and have all this start information and start sizing and right about and you here you use minus to make it queue up before and we have the UI address and our segment that we defined is going to be um, put into or loaded into our UI one address memory and um, hey presto it outputs this data file with um, the object relocated and compiled in its output f uh, last its final state um, along with the header which we then in our make file pick up where's my make file make file which we then pick up in this in this process here where we we're gonna so we're gonna compile these two pr um, well, one of them's a program. One of them's going to end up being a relocatable object, um, da or data. Um, um, data block, and this one too, data block. This is going to. This is our main program, but it's going to be a data block as well because we'll load everything in um, our main. In a main and a load, uh, load. We didn't did load in initial load in two steps because coming from the C sixty five bootstrap is a little bit tricky and it's easier to um, load something into another address to do the work from there because it's very strange and you you want to use the whole address space anyway. So moving things around is is important for. C sixty five bootstrap. Anyway, so um, so this this tool here picks up. We do the the linker. We with our linker, we call the linker with our configuration file on our um, to output program dot dat from test dot object, a test object, and our tilde library and our UE objects. Um, wow. Um, so, so tilde is the user interface control library. Um, I, I compile that separately. Um, and I include that. Uh, so I, and the main program and the user interface objects. And I output this program to that, which is only going to because of our config only you're going to have these main ones here main and some extra headery things which I'll cover in a second because I've I've wrapped the standard um, output which is just a load address up with a block address so I can pick it up as a block um, data object into the tool here the mdtf link command line tool which um, collates into main dot d mdtf program dot dat ue object dot dat so um, that's our main program that will eventually have all of our other things that it requires and our loader uh, intermediary loader goes into load mdtf from load dot dat, load dot dat is generated from um, linking load B. So you the first load, the second load, picked up as a as a chunky file. Now the, the, the I think I probably should go over what are what is collecting these into. They they um um chunky files um, that have um, where, where each chunk is an instruction of what to do with data um, and there's different types of chunks so different types of things you can do with the attached data 
Um, so it's chunky here, block header, and the tight blo um, chunk of block move or segment move. Um, to do with the data, we either move it all in just as a block, um, one static, one whole block, or we can treat it as separate little blocks um, that get put into different places, which is handy for when you want to um, output character sets and um, things where you need lots of little d little little data objects spread over memory. Um, and but that doesn't apply to these ones. I'm not using that for these. I'm just using these ones. The block, the the uh, solid block moves. Um, so it's pretty pretty simple. Um, maybe I can show. I'll show you um in the hex editor. The um the main MDTA. So it's got a header chunk and the size, of course. You can always have these things. Um, oh, my microphone is making noise. They have maybe maybe I should show you the Pascal. Um, here. So we have the magic ID and the size. A version, an intent, and a local value. Um, that that's hints to uh, indicate what the data is intended to be used for. Um, um, it gives you um, the ability to say, "I only want these with this with this tag." Um, or, you know, if it has certain tags and I can understand how to manipulate that data. Um, um, yeah, so the destination, so we have, um, but we also, um, when the header we have, um, a load buffer, it's ne it needs a load buffer address to, s to load the data from the disk into before moving it to its final address. Um, so that gives it that required detail. Um, and it's ex I should say it's extendable, um, which is interesting. I have um, made an image file format using uh, additional block types, uh, um, chunk types, sorry, chunk types, um, a meta chunk and a palette chunk, and then use the um, segment move chunks and block move chunks to move the character set and screen data and just give them nice value labels to say this is screen data and and also in the metadata, give information about what's going on. Um, and this is all there is to it, to implement that. It's only 380 80 lines to add that capability onto the um, processing of the data files. Um, it, it, you, you tell it, you give it a chain of... Um, um, callbacks to uh, determine whether or not uh, a a module wants a certain block based on its magic value, and um, yeah, and decodes them um, if if it likes it or says no, somebody else has to handle that. So um, that's pretty interesting. Um, anyway, so uh, I think I've covered everything. Up. Maybe I'll just go over everything quickly again. So, so I have I have defined my program as a set of oh, as a set of um, 
mo m m objects and oh, what am I looking for? Um, crap. Um, and giving them these an um, block address headers when I output them out um, when I finally link them and then I pick them up with the um, tool to build them together so the final disk image looks a little something like this where we have our load A is output is auto boot our load B is output as a um, MDTF file which is loaded by our first loader and then passed control to such that it loads then loads the main which is consisting of our program and object um, data blocks and we also have a, a nifty logo just to throw in there which the first loader here picks up because it's going to be a game so I had to make sure that all worked um, so let's see it in action. I've got the disk um, inserted here already, so I'll just reset it. So splash screen, and then loads the flashing border, loads um, our program modules, and it all works nicely. It it can refer to the objects from our. Um, object module here the exports here to um, these exports to tell it about the things we have here which are going to be stored in our in bank one which is away from our code and um, I forgot, I forgot, I've lost the track of what I was saying <laughs> uh, oh yes and and also uh, a program object here, which then imports these things back um, and is linked with uh, the user interface and stuff. Uh, yeah. Yes, goodness, I think that was very long, but um, um, I think I've that's uh, that's about it. So, oh, um, so. Thanks for watching.